Hey guys, Zoe here from the Starcraft Squad, bringing you number three of Cheese Your Way to Glory. Spawning over here at the 8 o'clock position as the Red Protoss is Scapegoat. And in the top, at the 1 o'clock position ish, I will say this is Giad, God, Garrod. We'll go with Garrod. Garrod sounds more. correct, I guess. Yeah. Um, so the description of this video was pretty vague. So I don't know who the actual cheeser is. So we're gonna have to, uh, you know, just go out with it on the fly. Now, Garrod, or Scapegoat, excuse me, is putting on a pylon. On 9, that is very standard. It's more standard than the pylon on 10 or the pylon on 8. So we're gonna call it the standard 9 pylon. Garrod over here, Gerard, Garrod. Building more drones, Overlord, moving out, scouting each other. And Scapegoat here, scouting his opponent's base. Sees no pool has been placed. Income tab shows 12 harvesters for the Zerg player and 11 for the Protoss. Now, looks like Scapegoat here, putting down that gateway, getting ready to wall off the standard Cybercore Zealot wall off. That you see every Protoss doing. Garad, what are you doing? Wait, why are your scouting still over here? Wait, 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 where the hell's the cheese, damn it? Where's my cheese? <sighs> Pool going down. Um, nice patrol here. Ugh, oh, lower league players have such interesting ways of scouting. A little bit of harassment going on here, so maybe we're gonna have a drone all in, kill this gateway. Nope. So we are currently at 16 food for the Protoss, 15 for the uh, Zerg, Zerg, no, Garrod, Garrod, nope, oh, off. Oh. Okay, well that sucks. And we're moving out here to, uh, looks like, finally get our, this food is odd. Why are we at 14 food only? No pool, oh, we're getting the gas now, no queen yet. Garrod, Garrod, what are you doing here? Why are you scouting with the with the drum of minerals? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you what what? 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 Well, scapegoat doesn't see this, so. Um. Okay, we have a uh, expansion at the uh, Protoss is natural. That's a very standard build right there, and we're moving out with our first two scouting lings, and we're going to poke up here. Um. Looks like hold position is activated, so... No, we're just putting these guys over here to defend, I see. Speed's on the way, and we are deciding that we want to keep getting gas, because whenever you go early, early speedlings, and you get that early speed, it is best to keep getting that gas, because Zerglings cost no gas. So, very valid strat here. Um, the transfer of drones is going to be a bit problematic, and we are also doing the standard skipping the queen build. Um, you know, very standard. Uh, queens are pretty pretty useless until late game, and we won't be seeing that. Looks like we're sitting over drones here, so this is the um, farthest drone transfer imaginable. And um, maybe we'll just be putting spine collars down here. So instead of the Protoss' is base, we have a second gate going down, a third one as well, and a fourth one. So four gates! Four gate! Oh no! Luckily we have this proxy expansion here, because everyone knows the hard counter to four gate is proxy expansions. Now, if we go to Scapegoat's vision, we see the creep. We see the creep, and, and he's moving out with his probe. And now he's going, oh god, what the fuck? <laughs> and Scapegoat has a good chuckle here. First queen is finally in production. Still no queen over here. Speed is almost done. We finally pulled guys out of gas. So we have that, uh, you know, the very standard 48 gas pull guys out. Um, standard. Standard, very standard. Um, three spines down. Income tab shows 22 harvesters for Protoss, 11 for Zerg because he is not building drones. He's not building links. He is just there. Warp gates are now finished. He is warping it and getting a forge. Spine collar moving forward in position. We have those very useful sentries here. They will force field these spine crawlers and do a lot of damage. But we have Scapegoat deciding to send out those two links or two zealots. Good force fields here. Um, a lot of Ling's just sitting here in hold position. First of all, going down. Second one goes down, but he's not in hold position. Ling's! Send your... Garrod! 
Garrett! Garrett! You have Zealots in your main! Uh-oh, income tab. Oh god. Oh god, which fight looks more important? Let's go with let's go with Garrett because he's the one doing the cheese. Lots of Zealots here though. Probes getting killed by these links, but there's not too many of them. Oh no, Garrett. Garrett, your drones, you're transferring all of them. The old, you've got two Zealots in your mineral line trick. You don't have a queen to defend or anything, so you're gonna transfer all your drones build. I love it. We have the whole position, Lings not attacking. Looks like we have devoured the entire Protoss' mineral line. Um, so standard, I have no guys on minerals, so I'm just going to mine gas build. And Protoss looks dead. He has one harvester left. There's the GG from Scapegoat. Gerad, Jared, Gerard, Gerad winning the game with a very poorly played uh, build. There you go. I love it, though. Great job there, Jared. Garrett Garad uh, for submitting. It was quite amusing. And um, this is why I love lower level leagues. Because this shit doesn't fly in Master League. Um, but I, I love you for submitting. And yeah, so make sure you guys subscribe. Check me out on Twitter.com. Follow me there, StarCraft Squad. Um, check out my coaching service, $8 an hour. And if you're interested in getting your cheese casted, I plan on casting a shitload of these guys. A shitload. So submit them to StarCraft Squad at gmail.com. I will commentate a lot of them because these are fun. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. So submit, and I'll see you guys in the next video.